pressing issues have been raised during a parliamentary debate in the Netherlands with lawmakers there questioning how the investigation into the crash of Malaysia Airlines MH17 was carried out. Let's speak to our correspondent Peter Oliver now for more details. Uh, Peter, you're across what's been happening. What can you tell us? Hi. Yes, well, this was a debate in the Dutch Parliament ahead of what we're expecting to hear next Monday, which is supposed to be a, a formal update on the criminal investigation that is still underway into what brought about um, the downing of MH17 in July of 2014. Now, there was a lot of questions being raised on the floor of the Dutch Parliament, uh, most of these by the um, opposition Dutch Party for Freedom, the far-right um, opposition to uh, Prime Minister Mark Rutte's uh, ruling party. Um, they raised questions about why um, prosecutors, why investigators hadn't seen footage uh, the United States has previously claimed to have. Um, footage that, according to John Curry, has great validity to just who brought down the plane. We picked up the imagery of this launch. We know the trajectory. We know where it came from. We know the timing. Well, moving on from that, there was also questions about the length of time this has taken since July uh, 2014 to, to find out results of this criminal investigation. We did hear from um, Dutch safety experts, air safety experts, back in October of last year. Um, but they've raised the question of why is this criminal investigation taking so long? One of the reasons, perhaps, for that is another question that was raised over why documents relating to the downing of MH. 17 have been sealed and aren't being allowed to be shown to parliamentarians or investigators. And in fact, these documents have been sealed for good. They're being sealed in perpetuity. There's also the other question of what's been done to make sure that this type of accident, this type of incident, to beg your pardon, can't happen again. Now, this was a question that was placed directly to Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. He said that although all efforts were being taken to make sure that um, planes weren't flying over conflict areas, there was no real guarantees that became, can be given that the type of incident that caused such tragic death um, re relating to MH17 can be avoided in the future. All of these questions, though, will be looking to see if we do get answers to when we hear that update from investigators in the Netherlands on Monday next week. That's RT correspondent Peter Oliver bringing us bang up to date there. Peter, many thanks. Now, some of the families of the victims of MH17 having been trying to take legal action against Ukraine by suing both the country and its president for manslaughter by negligence. They argue that under international law, Ukraine should have closed its airspace if it could not guarantee the safety of flights. We spoke to Professor of Aviation Law, Elmar Giamulla, who's representing three families. He said that their lawsuits were simply ignored. We have filed our lawsuits more than one year ago, and we never received a response from the court uh, except an acknowledgement of receipt. So we know definitely that our lawsuit has arrived at the court, but uh, for the time being, we are completely in darkness, left in darkness by the court. We do not know anything about the further procedure. We do not know if the Ukrainian defendant has received a copy of our lawsuit. We do not know whether or not the Ukrainian side has responded to our allegations and to our claims. And we do not know what the court has in mind, how the court will uh, be treating this lawsuit, how it will, uh, will, uh, will proceed. We do not know anything.